A good plot twist in a movie can leave you flawed. They can even turn an okay film into something you'll remember forever. The best thing about twists is you never see it coming. I'm going to list out some of the greatest plot twists in cinema history and rank which one I think is the best. Write in the comment section what your favourite twist in a movie is. In advance, there will be spoilers. Have you seen Unbreakable? Unbreakable tells a tale of uh, David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis. He is the only survivor of a horrific train crash. And the strange part is he's not hurt. Not a scratch, nothing, nothing on him, doesn't matter. The movie moves forward and David is coming to terms with what's actually happened to him and how he's the only survivor. And with interest from his son, they learn more about it by meeting uh, Elijah, who's a complete opposite. The twist is, spoilers, that Elijah has been causing all these incidents around the US or around the world, causing hundreds of thousands, possibly, of people to die just to find one survivor with no injuries his complete opposite that's the whole premise of the film is he is a supervillain looking for his well hero the brilliant and evil arch enemy who fights the hero with his mind next we move on to horror the film that started it all with the torture genre saw congratulations Imagine waking up in a disgusting bathroom chained to a post with a dead body on the floor and some stranger in the corner tied up in the same situation as you. Then having to figure out clues on how to actually get out. Only after loads of like torment and everything that goes on, one of them decides to cut their own foot off and escapes. And then the body wakes up and it turns out the body is the actual mastermind behind it all and you've been locked in there. Game over. From James Wan and Lee Manuel, uh, the twist is something I definitely didn't see coming. Uh, some say the sequel is better, has a better twist, and some might be right about that. But you've got to go back to the beginning with the Saw series and what it all started. That reminds me, have you seen our reactions where she reacts to Saw and Saw 2? And she's even got Saw 3 coming up. Oh... When he collects people, he is the rhino. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch her reactions to them. Next had me grabbing her hand in the cinema in pure shock was when a young Tom Holland knocks on his date's door. And of course, I'm talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. I had no clue it was going to happen. Just pure shock. That's insane. What they did with the car ride and how they had the conversation and the vulture figuring out Peter is Spider-Man. I'll kill you. And everybody you love, I'll kill you dead. That's what I'll do to protect my family, Pete. You understand? For me, that was the best twist in the MCU. I didn't see that coming at all. Or, actually, thinking about the Infinity War ending where they all died was a bit of a shock. Now, one that shot the director to the very top with six Oscar nominations, including Best Picture and Best Director and Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress, costing 40 million to make and ranking in over 600, 600 million worldwide. The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. It was definitely a popular movie. And I think its growth came from word of mouth. And that's mainly because of the plot twist. Like I knew the plot twist before I saw the film. The acting and the directing definitely helped for it to be overall great film. It's an okay drama and there's a lot deeper bits in there especially with character development and the arcs the actual characters go on uh, and then the twist it just flips you on its head if you don't know it's coming it's just absolutely insane disney movies don't normally have plot twists but when i first saw frozen who knew hans was going to be the bad guy then again i was hoping she'd end up with Kristoff. i'll distract him while you run Moving on, moving away from Disney. In 1999, David Fincher bought out Fight Club. If you hadn't read the book, the twist was going to be shocking, uh, and it was brilliantly done. You hit me in the ear! Well, Jesus, I'm sorry! Ow! Shocking to me, the narrator and Tyler Durden being, being one, well, Edward Norton is Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt is Edward Norton. It's, it's, it was brilliantly done. Next from Duncan Jones is Moon. Have you not seen Moon? 
Well, here's a, here's a real life twist, if you didn't know. Duncan Jones is actually the great late David Bowie's son. Uh, moon star Sam Rockwell as a national studying and living on the moon alone and trying to figure out when he can go home and because he just wants to go home. The twist is something I didn't see coming and I'm sure other people didn't see coming. Uh, and you definitely didn't want that for the character. Imagine finding out your entire existence is a lie and you're a clone. That was crazy stuff. Right, back to horror. Well, slasher films. Sometimes uh, slasher films have a twist. From like Friday the 13th with uh, the killer being Mrs. Voorhees to Scream. With, but, but with twists in slasher movies, it's more who is the killer and... When it turns out to be someone you didn't think, it would be, I would say, a good twist. But sadly, nowadays, you kind of can figure out who the killer is. Scream 6 nearly did something amazing, they, but they completely blew it. They showed us the killer in the opening scene. And for me, that would have been insane through the entire movie, knowing who the killer was and the rest of the cast and that didn't know what was going on. The rest of the characters didn't know what was going on. And we, the audience didn't need to figure out we just watched them torture themselves by getting it all wrong kind of like the traitors if you've watched the traitors anyhow they could have done better the twist that shocked a lot of people was the ending of the usual suspects did you actually think it was going to end like that i didn't i was surprised by it if you've not seen the oscar winning usual suspects what are you doing watching a video on plot twists because i'm gonna spoil it i'm gonna tell you the twist right you've had enough time to uh move on verbal kin is the mastermind behind all the killings and all the events that's going on written from chris McC uh, mccory who is better known for his mission impossible films recently that's what he does now he directs them he's very good at that uh i always thought something someone was going to be the the bad guy the Kaiser Soje, but I never thought it would be Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey actually received an Academy Award for his performance in this, rightly so, and Chris McCoy got a uh, writing Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. Right, let's go back to space. But a long, long time ago, in a place far, far away, with an empire that likes to strike back. Obviously, I'm talking about Empire Strikes Back. The boy has no patience. And probably the most quoted twist of all time. Everyone knows that line. Empire, if you've been living under a rock, is a sequel to a small indie movie called Star Wars. Uh, Empire continues the story of a young farm boy who's joined the uh, rebellion to fight against the big bad army. And the big plot twist is when he gets up to fight his uh, the big leader, it's his father. He didn't know. And that's the, sh the twist. It's, it's his dad. I am your father. Right, let's rank these movies, but before we do, let's add some honourable mentions, honourable films that I haven't made. So, Gone Girl, she's not actually dead. Memento, he killed his wife, but forgot because he's got amnesia. Old Boy, she's his daughter. Gross, cut your tongue off, makes sense. Planet of the Apes, it was Earth all along. Arrival, it wasn't that time, it was a different time. It's crazy. The Others... They are the ghosts. Those are some other twists. So, in fifth place, I have Moon. Fourth, Fight Club. Third, Empire Strikes Back. Second, The Usual Suspects. And number one, The Sixth Sense. That's our ranking. Let us know in the comment section what your ranking is. And don't forget to subscribe while you're there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Next, you can watch one of these videos where I talk about how I saw a horror film far 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 too young so until next time i will see you later